So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. Um, so we have this parabola here. We don't really know much about it. We know that the vertex is here on the positive side. It has a positive x value and a negative y value. And we know that it faces up. It's pretty much all we know. The information provided here says the graph of the quadratic function f is shown where y equals f of x. Which of the following could be the graph of y equals f of x, so this exact same graph that we're looking at in the question, but then plus 2, right? So this plus 2 here should just shift the graph up 2 units, right? So plus 2 units up. Nothing else, right? So nothing, it shouldn't shift to the left or to the right. It shouldn't flip over. It just, just move up 2 units. And again, because I don't know where this is, Two units can make it go above the x-axis. It may not. I'm not certain. So choice A looks like it is relatively in the same position as the question, but shifted up. So I'm going to like that one. Choice B definitely looks like it's been shifted to the left from the original position. So that's gone because it's plus two should just shift the graph up. Choice C, the graph has completely flipped over. Um, which this plus 2 would not do to that. So choice C is gone. And choice D, the graph is shifted uh, dramatically to the left, right? So choice D is also incorrect. So choice A must be the correct answer. But while I have you on this video, um, it's good to know that if the question said, let me just put some, some generic things in here. So let's say f of x plus or minus A, and then... Um, plus or minus b, and I'll even put a plus or minus in front of there. Okay, so if this is positive here, that means the graph is facing up. So a positive f of x faces up. If instead the graph was a negative f of x, it would face down, right? So if we put a negative in front, it changes the, the direction, kind of like choice c did. If we have a positive inside the parentheses, we are shifting to the left. And this is the hardest one for people usually. It's a rule called insider's lie, if you recall that from school. A plus sign inside the parentheses means you're shifting the graph to the left that number of units. And um, also then, if a negative sign would then shift it to the right that number of units. And like we had the plus sign outside the parentheses, like what we have in this question, shifts up. And if it were a negative, it would shift down. Okay, so there's a little bit of a review about where and how plus and minus can show up in addition to a baseline graph, right? So here's our baseline graph. And now I'm saying if I put a negative in front of that, it goes down. If I put a, a positive or negative inside the parentheses, then it shifts to the left or right. If I put a positive or negative value on the outside of the parentheses, then it shifts up or down. So hopefully that review is useful for you.